Grande, God is a Woman on KMFM. You're on the hit list. And Jess Glynn is back with a huge new single. It's called All I Am. And Jess is on the show tonight. Now, am I right in thinking, is it seven number one singles you've got? Do you know what? I, it's such a strange thing. I'm so, you know, I'm happy to talk about it, but it is one of those things that feels very surreal still. Yeah, like it's not real life. Do you feel exactly like that. there's an added pressure because of that with every new single? I feel like the world puts the pressure a little bit on. However, I don't really put the pressure on myself so you feel like there are people being like okay is this going to happen whereas you're just kind yeah, of yeah like for chilling. me you know I, I make music because I love music and you know I hope for the best you know when it comes out but you know you don't write songs and think right this has to be a number one yeah of course you know? um, I've never ever ever had that in mind I think it's just a case of making the best music possible what's going through your mind like the night before a single release are you nervous are you excited it's really nerve wracking it's like oh my god and how do you like distract yourself from that it's really funny actually because all I am was coming out um, on the 17th of August right and I was in Belgium we had this mad show but it was really late and obviously it gets released at midnight and normally I'm actually really nervous and I've, it's the only thing on my mind I, like, I'm obviously online kind of checking what's going on and it was really funny because I did the show it, everyone was a bit hyper it was really late we had a few drinks and we got on the tour bus and we had a really long drive to get to Paris and then we were going to Japan it was like a really intense week I remember waking up in the morning um, at the airport in Paris on the tour bus and and we're walking to the hotel, we're gonna go and sort our stuff out and then catch a flight. And I was like, oh, my song came out. <laughs> and I totally, it just totally slipped my mind. And I hadn't looked at my phone, like I'm not always on my phone. Like when I go to bed, I switch my phone off. Totally slipped my mind. It was so funny because everyone was totally gobsmacked that I'd forgotten. It's the first time that's ever happened, but I was really disappointed in myself. <laughs> I was like, I can't believe that I didn't realize it was midnight and the song had come out. Which one do you prefer though? Do you um, prefer? Do you prefer to kind of be like nervous leading up to it but you know it's coming or do you prefer to have that surprise the next day? That surprise the next day was actually really beautiful because I was so actually overwhelmed by the moment in which I like, you know, I went on my phone and saw these amazing messages and, you know, my Instagram was like, you know, it it was really actually a a really nice surprise and actually it was a really nice way to like start my day. (laughs) But I suppose Um, the issue with that now though is that I suppose you can't ever do it again because you'll always be thinking back to the release of All I Am and you'll be like, oh, I'm not. Do you know what I mean? forget this one. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's definitely not going to happen. I mean, the day before my album comes out, I'm going to be. I don't think anyone's going to want to see me. <laughs> I was going to say, are you going to just book loads That's of gigs really, leading yeah, up like, to that? At the moment, it feels like so far away, but I am. I know the, the closer it gets, the more my belly's going to turn. <laughs> I can imagine. Before the announcement of this album, before the release of I'll Be There, All I Am, you kind of disappeared completely for a while. Like, what did you get up to? Was it just solidly music, or did you take a little bit of time out for yourself as well? I did take some time out for myself just for a bit of normality you know doing a bit more kind of stuff for myself and my family and seeing my friends you know living a little bit of you know a normal life again but I did have a lot going on with music you know I, I was so inspired to, to get back in and write and, and also like not feel pressured like I had to it was more mm. just because I wanted to What's the best sort of mind frame for you to be in when you're writing because you're saying about not because you had to but because you wanted to do you need to be in like a specific mood when you get in the studio? I need to be inspired I think that's kind of where I, my head needs to be I need to feel like I've got stuff to write about, stuff to talk about. Writing for me is like a therapy. It's my way of kind of speaking my issues in my own head and things that are going on. And so it's my way of release. KMFM. Jess Glynn, hold my hand on KMFM. And Jess Glynn's on the show tonight. And we were talking about your time off between touring and the last album and writing this one. What was the best thing that you did whilst you were off? I think just chilling, just doing my thing. Like, just living normally. Like, waking up when I wanted to wake up. Going to, like, my nans and hanging with my cousins. And, you know, like, things yeah. like that just is, like, my favourite thing. Seeing my dog, getting to, like, play with a dog and seeing my mum and dad and my sister and my friends go to the pub. Things that everyone gets to do. <laughs> on their normal life yeah. I just got to do that for a short period of time What's your perfect day off? Like if you could do anything you wanted like travel really was an issue. At the moment if I could if you say that like, right now if I could do anything I would stay in bed all day <laughs> But that is the dream, right? If I actually had real time off, I'd go on holiday, I'll tell you that much. But then I suppose, yeah, I suppose yeah. you're making the There's best no of it. no time for that right now. Yeah, not, not right now. There's an album coming and talking to the new album. Yeah, exactly. What can the fans expect? Because obviously we've had your two singles now. What else is to come? I think with this album, I, I need people to just press play from track number one and just listen through it. I think it's really important, the journey of this record. And I think it's very intimate. And you'll hear that, you know, when you listen to it. Very vulnerable and honest. And it's real. 
soul and it's true to who I am as a human and who I am as a person and as an, as an artist as well. You know, my personal struggles that I've been through and my emotions, the ups, the downs. I think it, it's a perfect kind of next chapter from the first album. Yeah. You know, the, the title Always In Between is very relative to how, you know, my life's been over the past few years and the struggles and of living two lives and the pressures of the industry and the pressures of trying to be me. So yeah, I think people shouldn't sit there and have any expectations. <laughs> yeah. I think people should just wait and then listen and then love. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That should be on the back of the album. Now let's quickly chat about your new single, All I Am. How did that track come about together in the studio? All I Am came about when I was writing and I was away. I took everyone away for a week, all my people, just to have like some space away from London and the pressures. And we went to this house and we just set up in like a living room and I had like loads of different setups throughout this house. And on the second to last day, we wrote All I Am. And I actually didn't start the idea. I was in a different room at the time and I came in. and it was really sweet because you know what everyone who came away with that week it wasn't that many of us but everybody who did come we all got to know each other and we all became like a little family and it became so such a special little kind of habitat for all of us and we all felt so comfortable with each other everybody got to know me and what it was that I wanted to achieve with this album and everybody kind of really opened up in their in their own way I think and when I wasn't in the room they started this idea and it felt like it was a song about everybody being there for one another and that without all those dots connected what would be do you know what I mean and that's kind of what this song's about all those dots connected make you who you are and all those dots are all those people and on that note it's the perfect time to play it thank you so much for coming on the hey. show Jess thanks so much for having me been great chatting and I'm going to hit play on All I Am on KMFM now can I get Go you to it. introduce it please hey this is Jess Glynn and you're listening to my brand new single All I Am on KMFM every butterfly I get belongs to you 